All right, so today we're going kind of over the motives behind these killers, these types of shooters. And there's different types. There's mass type, and there's just like this kid, Thomas Matthew Crooks, who was only 20, had a whole life ahead of him, shot and killed a man named Corey. I never knew how to say his last name, but he was a father, a fireman, I think. It, it was terrible. He injured Trump. That's why who the his main target. And I think this kid just wanted fame. He didn't go for well. He did commit a, technically a mass shooting, but that's one of the motives. Is they want to be on the news. Well, you'll be on the news for like a month, and then you're gonna fade out of existence, and only the crazy TikTok girls will be left. And another motive is revenge. Which, I mean, yeah. I mean, this can kind of tie into this. Like, he can be bu he was allegedly bullied in school. And he wanted to teach those kids a lesson. And he wanted to teach them who he really is. Like, stuff like that. And I don't know if he experienced much loss in his life. I'm going to look up. Because that's typically what happens. But we're kind of... Sometimes the motive is just unknown, like uh, Stephen Paddock, the worst mass killer in U.S. history, murdered 60 in cold blood, and um, we just know, don't never found out his motive, which is kind of creepy. But, yeah. So, this kid, he didn't really have a specific political party. He actually donated to... I, I, I don't remember what... He donated to both. Like, he was a fan of both, which makes me think... That he just wanted some attention. This kid, Thomas Crooks. That's one of the main, you know, driving motives. And one of the main motivators for these types of crimes. Like, um, for example, Mark David Chipman, up for parole this year. Most likely will never get out, but anyway. He killed John Lennon in 1980. And, well... He was, he, they offered him the insanity defense, but he didn't take it. And if you watch some interviews from Mark Chapman, you know, decades old or just, I don't know. But even the parole board mentioned this at some point, that he just wanted to be famous. That's why he killed Lennon, so he can gain his fame. Also, there was some stuff, you know, that song, Imagine All the People by John Lennon released well, <laughs> way before he died. But, yeah, that's basically why he was mad because he saw John Lennon as a hypocrite and wanted uh, revenge even though he's been kind of forgotten about in prison he's just been rotting in prison for 43 almost 44 years I mean he's never getting out even if he does his life is over so yeah that sucks for him but Fame, I notice that fame is a very common motive, and that's why I'm starting to think that a lot of these shootings are based on revenge or fame or loss. Also, another example of people writing a, a death note wanting to be famous was the case of Robert Hawkins, who, in, who on December 5th, 2007, went to the West Roads Mall in Omaha, Nebraska, way over there. So, what he did is he brought his father's AK in there, and he just uh, massacred the, the mall. He, he killed eight, injured a few critically. Those were eight innocent people who didn't deserve what they got. They were just, I don't want to say in the wrong place at the wrong time, because that would be putting blame on them. It was just a, a weird teenager who was 19 and had a pretty horrible life, but he made his own choice. And he wrote a note saying... I'm just going to take a few pieces of shit with me, but think about it. I'm going to be famous, though. So, yeah. Pretty messed up. And sometimes it's just pure mental illness. It, it, I mean, sometimes there, most of the time, is a motive, but... Like, uh, Robert Card in Maine, he got hearing aids, right? And then he thought he was hearing voices or people whispering up talking about him, when in reality... Most people didn't even know he probably existed, you know, so I don't know. That was just psychosis right there, but some, most mass shooters have some sort of mental illness anyway. Anyway, what, anyway, what I want you guys to take from this guys and gals, lovely ladies and gentlemen who have clicked on my video, 
just treat people with kindness, it could really prevent a tragedy, either them taking themselves out or others and themselves. Whatever may happen, you may be able to prevent it by being just doing a kind action. I I was bullied in school, and that's why I'm so nice to people, because I didn't like it, so I don't want, you know. Anyway, I would like you guys to comment what your thoughts on Thomas Crooks or whoever. Tell me of a case you may want me to discuss. I'm open. <laughs> I'm open. So I'm just out here in the graveyard in the middle of the night yelling into my phone. Yeah, I look stupid. But anyway, hope love you guys. Peace out. And be safe.